Hey everyone, Utabulture here, welcome back to the channel, bringing you a new video of Hogwarts Legacy, playing this on my LG C1 and on my PC. Now looking here at the settings real quick, so I am playing this at a resolution of 3840x2160 with DLSS set to performance and all in-game settings set to max, including ray tracing. Before getting started, just want to note, down in the description of this video, you can find a few different links, which include a link tree where you can donate to and support the channel directly, 5% discount code off coffee and tea orders, and finally a detailed list of my mod, uh, sorry I should say my TV settings and my NVIDIA control panel settings. Now looking here at the game, so continuing to really enjoy playing with the open world, um, again we've had a lot of <laughs> new releases coming out especially with this and Atomic Heart and things like that, so still trying to overall just get through the, the story mode of this game and um, still again continuing to very much enjoy it, it looks wonderful on PC. Um, again, I have compared this to the PS5 version, and so from an image clarity standpoint, the PC version definitely holds up better just because it is an overall sharper image, even with DLSS. And then, of course, the addition of ray tracing, which really does look phenomenal. Um, but again, it is very intensive, um, especially just with uh, with this game. I'm going to be curious if, again, future patches can kind of help improve performance when using ray tracing, but this is definitely a very demanding game that again even with a 3090 you're really going to need to lead into a DLSS if you want to have that 60 plus FPS experience. Now the C1 of course continues to look absolutely gorgeous again I, I'm a huge proponent of this TV and, and definitely very excited uh, I, I don't want to uh, you know, be mistaken here I'm very excited for the future of OLED and LG's new lineup coming out this year but again just the C1 overall has been just an incredible display and is one I definitely still recommend to plenty of people um, just for its image quality and especially its performance when gaming. Um, everything I throw at this looks incredible and so certainly this game looks uh, amazing. Um, and so again it will be interesting to see what the future of OLED looks like with the C3 and G3 coming out um, and again it, the improvements in brightness. So. I will be looking, uh, hopefully, to test those out for this channel um, and, again, be able to note some of the differences. But, again, C1, phenomenal display, looks fantastic. And so, with all that, though, I'm going to go ahead and stop the commentary here and just let you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions at all, whether it's about the game or my settings on my TV or even just PC settings, anything like that. And, yeah, with that, I really appreciate you guys for your support. Please don't forget to hit that like button, and also please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you later. Alohomora. Rebellion. Rebellion. The Ministry ought to loosen the reins on the Dark Arts. No better protection, if you ask me. I heard you. I'll you. check your pockets, brother. Can bring up. In 
send you. Hamora. Rebellion. What do you have in store for me this time? Never been afraid of the dark, nor doing dark things. Perhaps I shall scout around Felcroft for some good. Dark. for what you've done to helpless beasts. Alohomora. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see Hogwarts students here during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of travelling necessities. What do you have for sale? Let's have a look, shall we? You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. So nice of you to stop by.
This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Rebellion! 